Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bilfat. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number no. 32 of 2020, appointing an Assistant Secretary General at the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW. The Royal Order stipulates that, based on the Miri Order 44 of 2002, on establishing the SCW and its amendments, and the proposal of the wife of His Majesty the King and SCW President, Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hadina bin. Rashid Al Khalifa shall be appointed Assistant Secretary General of the SCW with the rank of Under Secretary. Her Royal Highness Princess Abika shall implement the provisions of the Royal Order, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman. The two leaders exchanged congratulations and good wishes on Eid Al Adha, wishing the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty the King of Morocco, Mohammed VI, on the anniversary of the Throne Day. His Majesty expressed the best wishes of good health and happiness to the Moroccan King and of progress and prosperity to the Moroccan people under his wise leadership. His Majesty hailed the deep rooted relations between the two countries and peoples and their steady progress. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty the King of Morocco, Mohammed VI, on Throne Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished His Majesty King Mohammed VI good health and happiness and the people of Morocco for their progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness hailed the deep rooted relations between the two countries and peoples across all areas. His Royal Highness the Premier also sent a cable of congratulations to Morocco's Prime Minister Saad al Din Uthmani. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the King of Morocco, His Majesty King Mohammed VI, on the commemoration of Morocco's Throne Day. His Royal Highness wished the Moroccan King good health and happiness and the people of Morocco for their progress and prosperity under his leadership. The Crown Prince lauded the deep rooted relations between the two kingdoms and people. His Royal Highness also sent similar cables of congratulations to the Crown Prince of Morocco, His Royal Highness. And to the Prime Minister of Morocco, Saad al Din al Athmani. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azan al Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in the outstanding results achieved by line of departure mayor, which won first place in the UK. Azan al Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the results affirms the kingdom's distinguished status and international participations in light of the support the equestrian sport receives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. His Highness stated that the achievement is a continuation of the accomplishments made by the sport and international participation to affirm its high status. He noted that a victory will be a motivation to make further achievements in upcoming participations. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the outstanding efforts of rider Jack Mitchell and racehorse trainer Roger Varian. His Highness noted that the strong competition and wide participation prove the importance of the race and the participants' determination to achieve excellence. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister aimed at alleviating financial burdens on citizens and as part of the Ministry of Works decision to treat Bahraini tenants the same as Bahraini homeowners, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, issued ministerial decisions to reduce, drop and exempt municipal fees for 1,091 Bahraini families who do not own their own housing during the period from January to June of the year 2020. Khalaf stated that this decision, decision reflects His Majesty the King's keenness on providing a decent life to all citizens by alleviating financial burdens through low municipal fees or to exemption of fees or the waiver of all debts for people with low income. Municipal fees were reduced to 1,064 Bahraini families and dropped from 19 Bahraini families, while 8 Bahraini families were exempted from municipal fees during the period from January to June of 20. 
The Ministry of Health announced that an internal probe committee has been set up at the Salmania Medical Complex. The move followed the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to tighten control over the dispensing of medica medicines at government and private pharmacies nationwide. Health Minister Faiq bin Saeed Saleh commended His Royal Highness the Premier's directives to toughen penalties on violators and ensure commitment to the laws and regulations governing the pharmaceutical profession and centers. She praised His Royal Highness Prevere's keenness to ensure that high-quality health care is delivered to the citizens and the residents and a certain commitment to commitment to the laws and protocols regulating the dispensing of medicines in the manner that would leave no room for exploiting them, making profit for them or wasting public funds allocated to purchasing medicine. In a statement, she announced cooperation between the Ministry of Health and other relevant authorities to submit a report to His Royal Highness immediately after finishing the investigation. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and that this is said that the suspension of prayers in mosques and mass worship would continue until reaching the required reduction of the virus-infected numbers as decided by medical authorities. The Council added that people should continue to rise to the highest levels of responsibility and take the health measures seriously in order to overcome the pandemic and not to repeat the gatherings that took place on Eid al-Fitr, which led to the increase in the numbers of of infections and deaths. The organizers of the first deputy prime minister, the FDPM Fellowship Program, are preparing to receive its sixth intake of candidates as the end of the registration period approaches. Candidates have until the 2nd of August 2020 to apply via the website on www.fdpm.gov.bh fellowship. The FDPM Fellowship continues to receive its un the unwavering support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, as it continues to invest in young Bahraini nationals working in the public sector by investing in their training and leadership skills so that they can contribute to the kingdom's continuing development. The program further offers the fellows an opportunity to gain experience shaping and implementing government policies and programs within the office of the first deputy prime minister. The program will continue on its commitment to regularly communicate with previous alumni by ensuring their participation in various training courses and meetings. With the success of the previous five intakes and a growing demand to register for the sixth intake, the program has effectively provided ambitious young leaders the skills needed to further enhance public sector efficiency and development. The COVID-19 task force continuously updates their recommendations for the reopening of facilities and business amid the improving health circumstances in the kingdom. The upcoming months will be the start of the reopening of different sectors with certain precautions, including the tourism sector. More details in this report. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected every sector across the globe and the hotel industry is among the hardest hit. In the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, has issued a list of requirements for hotels to comply with in order to keep their doors open, especially with the coronavirus hitting during the island's prominent tourism period. We are delighted that uh, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority are in the process of implementing We Will Meet Again campaign. We're trying to uh, support them as much as we can at our uh, uh, capabilities, uh, with our venues, with our assets digitally as well as uh, uh, virtually. Uh, we also do a number of webinars with the uh, Director of Tourism Authority, Dr. Ali Fulat, as well as with members of Gulf Air, uh, with Vince, Miss, Mr. Vincent uh, Costa, we did one. Uh, we're trying to give an uplifting message, a positive effort to the market, uh, to our uh, uh, partners from uh, GCC, as well as from overseas, international markets like Germany, Russia, India, etc., to uh, make sure that we illustrate what we do on the ground uh, with uh, visual discussions, virtual meetings, uh, being pu publicized in our digital uh, networks like Facebook, Instagram, etc. And uh, we work hand to hand to ensure that we come over those difficult times altogether safely. 
Other hoteliers and hospitality experts have taken the COVID-19 pandemic as a challenge to innovatively rethink the way they serve their clients and protect their staff. Properties all over Bahrain are welcoming guests back and competing to earn their confidence by training their staff to meet the new health and safety challenges presented by COVID-19 and following precautions issued by the COVID-19 task force. Welcoming, safeguarding and taking care of our guests is at the very heart of what we do and who we are. Uh, our core hotels globally are in the process of impl implementing the All Safe program. Uh, it's, it is a program that is certified and validated by a globally known uh, company called Bro Veritas. We are also here in Bahrain, are in the current process of implementing uh, All Safe program. As you might have uh, realized, there are a number of measures available in the lobby. There are sneezing guards in every desk. All the touch points are identified and uh, sanitized in every 30 minutes. The gloves and masks are available for our guests. Sanitizers are available in uh, elevators, in uh, lock, in uh, tables, in uh, the beach, and in every possible point. Our local community has great relation with us already. We are very well known and positioned in the uh, Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, we are very much lacked during those difficult times also because of our current available uh, opera suites where, we, where the guest enjoys a unique private pool along with their family. They consistently come. We have some unique uh, lock, uh, ground floor uh, positioned units that are uh, giving direct access to the, our beach as well as uh, to the pool by the time the pool is uh, open for the public as per the uh, Bahraini uh, government rules and regulations. This is Sarah Lebrek reporting for Bahrain International. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,248 with 421 recoveries, 439 registered new cases and one death. 187 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 249 are contacts of active cases and three are travel related. The deceased is a 54-year-old expatriate. The Ministry of Health expressed its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirmed the importance of following instructions.